Hi, this is Dr. Greg, and I just wanted to put together a quick video uh, reviewing the data tables information that we went over today in class. So, if you can see on your screen, then you can see that this looks very familiar this is because this is the notes that we took today. So, your, your notes should look just like this one. So, let's first talk about data tables, the purpose of data tables. Remember that it's twofold. One, we need to make sure that we use data tables because it helps us organize our, our data. Second, is that it helps us be able to analyze our data more effectively. So, let's first talk about how are we going to create the data table. There are specific rules that you need to follow when you're creating them because all data tables should follow these same rules. So we put together this checklist, and this checklist, three steps. First, is that you're going to have put your independent variable, our IV, our IV, on, I don't know why that didn't come out very, very well, but that's it, on, on the left, and your dependent variable on the right. So independent variable here, dependent variable on the right. Now remember that we always have only one independent variable, but you can also have more than one dependent variable. And so if you do, you're just gonna have more than one column. Okay, so second rule is that we have to make sure we have labels with units. So right here, you have your labels, which would be whatever your independent variable is, and then you have the units in parentheses below. Third is that you're gonna organize your data to where your independent variable is in ascending order. So in this case, you're gonna, here we have one, two, three, and four. Remember, we read a data table as from the top to the bottom. So ascending order, you organize it with the independent variable in that way. Okay, once you have your dependent variable correctly organized and created, now you can go to start to analyze it. Our first objective here is that we can identify trends and patterns in our data. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to look for those trends and patterns and we're gonna draw those arrows on the data table. We're gonna draw the arrows of what the trend is. And again, we're gonna read from top to bottom. So let's look here at our example. In our example, we have our independent variable on the left, which our independent variable is time. We have dependent variables on the right. So we have two dependent variables, temperature, and we also have rainfall. We also look, we also have labels with units, just like that with number two up here where it had labels with units. You can see that we have labels with units. We have time, and that's measured in day. So the unit is day. We have temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. Your units are degrees Celsius. We have rainfall that's measured in centimeters. So your units are cm. And we've also, step three, is our independent variable is ascending order. Yes, we do have that. We kept our independent variable in ascending order. One, two, three, four, and five, from top to bottom. Okay, so let's start analyzing it. Let's draw arrows to show the trend or the pattern. Remember a trend and pattern? Is the data increasing or is it decreasing or is there no trend? So in the first one, we always set it up where it's in ascending order, so reading from top to bottom. Your independent variable for time is always going to be your increase in here because we've already set it up for as we go top to bottom, it goes one, two, three, four, five. Numbers are increasing. So we just draw a big old arrow right there. Now go to your dependent variable. Read from top to bottom. It goes from 5 to 15, 30, 40, and 50. So our, our numbers are increasing. So we draw a big old arrow right there. Then we go to our, our next column. With rainfall, we can see that our numbers are 60, then 45, 25, 10, and then 5. So our numbers are decreasing. So we draw a big arrow going down to show that it's decreasing. And we can write our sentences from these arrows. So we could say that time is increasing, temperature is increasing, and rainfall is decreasing. These are the two sentences that you would put in your, in your lab data analysis section. All right, let's go to the third one. Once you've, um, once you've identified your patterns and your trends, now you can start identifying the relationship between them. That's our third objective, is that you can identify relationships in data. In this, we're just going to compare our independent variable to one of the dependent variables. And you're gonna say, what is that relationship?
relationship. So the structure, you can just use the sentence structure as the plug in your independent variable increases or decreases, the dependent variable increases or decreases. So you just plug it in. As the time increases, we said that about here, the temperature increases. And we're going to put this in present tense. Next one, you can compare time to rainfall. As the time increases, the rainfall decreases. All right, now that you have your relationship, then you can finally classify that type of relationship. There are two types of relationships. There is a direct relationship and an indirect relationship. In direct relationships, both of your patterns or trends are the same trend. That means that your independent variable is increasing while your dependent variable is increasing. Or your independent variable is decreasing while your dependent variable is decreasing. Either way, they're the same tra trend. They're both increasing or they're both decreasing. Indirect is when they're going in opposite ways. They're, one is increasing while the other one is decreasing. This is your opposite trend. Either your IV is increasing and DV is decreasing, or the other way around. DV is increasing while your IV is decreasing. All right, so in our example, if we compare time and temperature, we saw that time increased and temperature increased. Since they're both increasing, that's a direct relationship. If we look at time and rainfall, time increased, but rainfall decreased. That is an indirect relationship because they're going in opposite directions. They're opposite trends. All right, so if you have any questions, come see me in class, come or after class, um, before class PRT, after or before school, um, send me an email. Um, so keep studying hard, keep working, and always remember to be kind and recycle. Bye.